New video now of the accused serial rapist making his first court appearance. We've also been looking at Dewan Donaldson's court documents. Investigators say the 18-year-old threatened to harm victims' families if they told police. And one of his alleged victims was just 12 years old. Donaldson is accused of attacking at least three young girls on their way to school in South Phoenix. Police used DNA evidence to arrest Donaldson. And ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez tells us about some new technology that could put DNA testing in the field, speeding up arrest for detectives. And the process can take up to 14 days. 14 days or longer to get DNA testing results can be 14 days too long when it comes to the race of solving violent crimes. During that time that you're waiting, you could have possible more offenses committed. That's why Mesa Police is following several DNA field testing projects that would put DNA testing in the hands of detectives in the field. One of those projects is coming out of the University of Arizona. Here, scientists have developed a rapid DNA testing machine that could cut testing down to two hours. The advantage now of doing rapid DNA testing is we can come much closer to the crime scene. DNA samples would be placed into a specialized cartridge for a mobile testing machine, meaning no more transporting samples to a centralized laboratory. That takes a lot of time. Uh, and potentially can also damage the, uh, the specimen. The University of Arizona is hoping to market the system soon. There's no question that any time you have a piece of technology that can do something that much quicker, uh, it's going to help our investigations. Allowing police to know if they have their suspect or not. In Phoenix, Mary Ellen Resendez, ABC 15 News. The Endeavor astronauts are back in.